Hello YouTube, back with a rather more uh, personal and serious video. Um, and straight to the point on the topic of uh, training blues, and which can kind of coincide with mental health, um, I guess. And it, it's certainly not going to be one of these videos, you know, where it's, you know, you should talk more, you should talk more, or it's okay to cry, or everyone has mental health issues. It's more of a video practically around the topic specifically of training blues. And the reason why this came into my head was on Tuesday. You know, it's just one of those sessions that just really, really piss poor, you know, in terms of uh, progressing through my logbook. Um, things felt heavy. I didn't feel like my posterior chain was giving me support. Um, things felt heavy. Performance was hard. And lately in the last few weeks, I have been feeling quite run down, to be honest. In that regard, it, it just feels like the training. While I was making progress, maybe in the last couple of months, maybe it stagnated and I feel completely beat up, but also fed up and not as enjoying it as much. It just, again, it's starting to turn into a sort of chore. And I know people suffer from that. You know, training blues is probably a reason why a lot of people do give up quite early on and why guys into it for years, maybe exit it, uh, you know, pull back from it and don't do it as much as maybe what they used to in the younger years. <clears throat> um, and it just sort of made me think about that idea of when you're doing this for a long period of time and this is what you're doing right now, you know, someone that's sticking to a training protocol, a diet protocol, the fact that you've got this far and you're still doing it is quite quite an incredible feat in itself. We're currently in a society that conditions people. We're all being conditioned right now into a lack of attention. If, if not from TikTok or Reels or Shorts. I put up a TikTok video um, yesterday and the average watch time on it was... 3.2 seconds. The video was 13 seconds long. In a society where that is the norm now, where people switch off if the video is over three to five minutes, the attention spans are lowering. We want more quick dopamine hits. The fact that you've stuck this long, it's something that is face-to-face, in-person, social, that's not on your screen. Done it day in, day out, or week in, week out is um, you should be very proud of that. <clears throat> and in one sense, I'm thinking to myself, uh, you know, I take a, an aggressive approach, just get it done. You're an adult or you're a young adult, get the job done, you know what needs to be done. If you want the results, you need to do it. And end of. Stop bragging about it online that you did something. You know, it's really not a, a, a big deal. You do it. But in the other hand, I'm thinking, in this modern society, it's a big deal. Especially when everyone out there accepts mediocrity. It's quite a big deal. But training blues will inevitably come in. In every aspect of your life, whatever you do, a form of blues or I'm sick of this. Or I'm going through circles on this and getting bored. It's the same routine. It's predictable. will come up. And there is ways around that. First of all, talking about it with your therapist. Well, first of all, addressing what the issue is. Are you just run down? Are you tired? Are you sore? If that's the case, then take yourself away for a recovery week. Don't touch the gym. Go out walking. Lots. Have a holiday. For fuck's sake, reverse your dad. Have some nice food. Go really bald out. I mean, I mean, drink a lot, eat a lot, everything. Go really bald out. And uh, by the end of that week, um, you'll feel like utter shit, but you'll be buzzing to get back. Or is it the setup you've had got? Maybe the program is just boring now. Maybe it's predictable, you know what you're doing. You're not connecting with the muscles as well as you used to. You feel like you're just doing the exercises now because, well, I've done them for years and it's got me this far. If that's the case, you need a revamp. Go out and research, get a coach or something. Do something fresh and new. 
do something that spikes your interest. If the interest is always slowly, slowly always just training in gym, then that makes sense. Um, in that case, it's just you're gonna have to find alternatives. And you know, recently with my injuries, <clears throat> I've uh, had to throw out a lot of my arm workouts to like cable solo. You know, just always cable movements. And my cable movements are brilliant. I've always felt, you know, the reason I built a lot of density up over the years was from heavy compounds, you know, weighted dips and closed branches. And I just can't do it right now at the minute. But I'll tell you what, see, changing, just leaving that kind of mindset and ego at the door and actually, uh, you know, embracing something like that approach, you know, like just pure cables and going for just what feels right for my mechanics. I've had the best workout ever. I mean, the best session sets of workouts for months, honestly. The, the blood drive, the connection has been amazing. So maybe maybe you need that change. Maybe you go, uh, you know, tricep press lens isn't feeling it for me. Okay, double rope it is. Let's take it really slower than what you have. You know, if, if, if you're going this slow up, let's take that four seconds on the way up and re-log back that. Okay, now the weight might not be as pressive, but you're gonna be logging that with, wow, you know, that's absolute quality. Okay, if I can get that better next week, all these all with absolute quality. It's a change, it's exciting. That's what you need. And I honestly believe, you know, training blues are gonna come and go, and for every aspect of your life, be it learning to play instruments, learning a language, writing a book, there's always gonna be elements where it's just, this is shit, this is just getting boring. But it's embracing the idea and learning that the form of discipline you need Sometimes it is going to be like that, but you're still going to need to get out there, tick your boxes, learn what you need to learn, practice, and do the needful. And it's okay to take time off as well, but you need to keep coming back to that start point, ultimately, of, of betterment. Never s satisfy yourself or never settle for mediocrity, because everyone out there right now has went through blues like we have right now, and most of them, 90%, have quit. Now is not the time to quit. Now is to actually look back at your progress if you're going through blues and go, I have come a long way. Holy shit. I've come a long way. I could never bench that in my life. Shit, I could never play that on the guitar in my life. Fuck, I, I, I could never say those 10 words in that language. Now I'm, I'm fluent in it. You're always, comp you're always comparing yourself to what you were previously in the previous week or the previous day. But you never compare yourself to what you were past in the year or year two. We, work, we, we shouldn't focus on data and trends from short term, we should look at it in the long term. If you look things in the long term, it'll paint a pretty picture. And the picture should allow you to stand back up again with the shoulders out, well, shoulders back, should I say, chest out and say, you know what, actually I've been going quite well. I'm gonna take maybe a little bit of break, maybe spa date, smell the roses, and excite myself again back into it because I've got this far with it and I enjoy it. Anyway. If this video has helped you motivate you, please do like and subscribe. But until the next time, I'm Carl from the Oxden. I'll catch you later.